I want to bring in Niall Stanage, White House columnist with our partners at The Hill. Niall, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you, Natasha. Is there anything Dems can do this late in the game to turn the midterms in their favor? Well, I think that footage in Dre's report of the crowds and the lines outside the, the event in Philadelphia with former President Obama tells the story. That is what they can do. They can excite the base. They can get people engaged. At this point in an election campaign, there aren't really new arguments to be made. There aren't really very many voters who are now Republican and will become Democrat by Tuesday. But what you can do if you're the Democratic Party is get people out, get people to decide to go to the polls rather than sit on their couch, to come out a little bit earlier for work and to, so they have time to vote before that on Tuesday. That's what Democrats can do at this point, I think. And let's talk about Obama and Biden lending their support today. What does Obama bring that Biden simply cannot? He brings a few things. One is that because for the former president is not involved in the sort of day-to-day -day political conflict, he has a kind of glamour, a kind of popularity because of that. He also is a very popular person, certainly relative to President Biden or to former President Trump. The final Gallup poll of the Obama presidency showed him with 57 percent approval rating. I know that's not overwhelming, but it's better than former President Trump ever did, and it's a lot better than President Biden is uh, standing right now. So I think there's that, and I think there's uh, charisma. I think there's his ability as an orator. He's beloved by the Democratic grassroots. So all of those things combine to make uh, the former president a very uh, potent uh, figure for the Democratic Party. And what do you make of any speculation that Obama may overshadow Biden? I think it's true. <laughs> That's what I make of that speculation. I mean, you know, one can, of course, hold whatever political views one holds. But as a political orator, former President Obama seems to me clearly the uh, leading or the outstanding political orator of his generation. It's no shame to be overshadowed by him because nobody in either party are as good at the art of the stump speech as he is. Now, he also does shine at a, at a higher wattage than President Biden. And I guess that is a problem when you're the sitting president. You know, there, there is uh, a kind of pride involved in that, that, that oh, it's Obama who really generates that excitement. But overall, you know, obviously President Biden was a loyal vice president to Obama for those eight years. And I would imagine he's uh, grateful for the former president's help at this crucial time. Uh, what about the candidates themselves? I mean, how much do these kinds of events actually help them? And, and let's take Fetterman, for example. That's a great question. And the, the issue really is, do Democrats or Democratic leaning voters who are excited to see former President Obama then come out for John Fetterman? And the answer to that question is complicated, just as it's complicated for any other candidate. If we look, for example, at President Obama while he was in office, his own electoral record was clearly very strong. He won two presidential elections with an outright majority of the popular vote both times. He suffered pretty terrible defeats, or Democrats suffered pretty terrible defeats in the midterms during his presidency. In 2010, they lost 63 House seats. So I just use that as an example to say a person's personal popularity, such as former President Obama's, does not necessarily translate into votes for John Fetterman. Obviously, the Democratic hope is that it will, but that is not guaranteed. Not guaranteed. I hear you. And always great to see you. Niall Standage, thank you. Thanks, Natasha. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.